The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex. Yeah, awesome are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Let's do this. Podcast time on this Monday night, 18th of March. Welcome to the program. My name is Mo. This is Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954. You can also catch us on Skype, the Good Times podcast. You can actually even text us. Let me throw out the text number here. It's a 0927-360-0485 tonight. No guest, just you, just me. And we have our little intimate Ask Anything podcast. Basically, actually... Wait, hold on. Every night is Ask Anything. It's just so happens. I don't know. I just say that to, for marketing purposes that you can call and ask anything. But really, you could call any fucking night. It just so happens to see, you know, um, you and me tonight and uh, no guests, which I kind of enjoy every now and then because we don't have to, again, do the interview process. There's not a lot of pressure. You know, sometimes with the guests, they're, you have to always have to make sure they're entertained. They've got water, coffee, food, or whatever it may be. When it's just you guys and me, that's just the questions. We get to sit around with the staff. You get to see how the show looks um, when we usually don't have uh, – uh, when we usually have a celebrity guest, you don't get to see the staff and stuff like that kind of walking around. This time, you can. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. we got a ton of questions, as always, uh, every night here. I'm a little sore tonight, though. I, I'll tell you why. I um, – I joined a, a softball league here uh, in the U.S. Uh, over the weekend, and it's a gay softball league. And it was really cool because, you know, like, I, I've never joined a gay league before. And, and, you know, being one of the very few, if I'm not, I think there's only two of us who are straight guys um, uh, in, in the league. Man, there, it's just, it's, it's a completely different experience when you, when you put, put like, Athletes, because a lot of them are like fucking MMA fighter type of bodies. I mean, really muscular gay guys, but they don't have that jerky, testosterone filled kind of like mentality where, you know, ultra competitive. It's just about hanging out, playing the game. I mean, playing hard. But, you know, there's no trash talking. There's no fuck you. You know, if you mess up, it, a lot of them just laugh. Ah, girl, you mess up. I mean, it was really like that. And, it, and I, th I thought about, I think if I'm going to start playing sports recreationally, obviously, in La Liga and all that stuff, you should join the gay leagues. They're really fun. The people are really relaxed. They're super athletic. And minus all the kind of bullshit of the like, yeah, man, fuck you, man, you know, kind of like things that guys sometimes do. So it's my first time and my body is sore as hell. And it's just the same workout and just minus, I guess, the drama that heterosexual males bring when you're, when you're with the homosexual guys. It's just all relaxed. And I completely like, I mean, totally uh, plug it, man. Go out there. Join a, a gay league if they'll take you. Like uh, he, on this league, there's like a quota. If, I mean, if there's too many straight guys, all of a sudden you know you can't play anymore. But there were only two of us, and total fun, really, really cool. 
So I wanted to throw that out there. So thanks uh, for the guys at the uh, Gay Softball League for accommodating me. A lot of fun. All right, let's get to uh, some of these calls. Let's start with Anton, who's 17 years old. He's in line two. Anton, you've been on hold the longest, so I want to make sure we get to you first, and then we'll knock out some of the Skype stuff. Again, phone number is 478-7954. Skype, The Good Times Podcast. You can text us. We'll call you, and hopefully we'll have a good night tonight. Anton, line two, 17 years old. What's going on, my friend? Anton? Hello? Hi. What's up, buddy? Uh, uh, good, uh, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. How can we help you? You're young, but don't worry. You're here. Yeah. What's up? So, yeah, I'm so scared. Yeah, well, trust me, this phone call is nothing compared to what's going on in your real life. So if you're scared of this phone call, just imagine what could be going on in your life that's even scarier. But since I know and the people don't know, (laughs) dude, relax. Just you and me, man. Just tell me what the hell happened. So, uh, so it's... Okay, okay. So, me and my girlfriend had, had you know, the S thing. Yeah. Anton, if you can't even say the word sex and you're having it, fucking life is, uh, it, I mean, now I'm scared for you. You should be able to say sex, uh, Anton, especially since you're putting your dick in somebody. Uh, you get what I mean? Yes, I can't hear you yeah, that yeah. much. Uh, what I'm saying is, if you can't say the word sex, but you're having sex, it terrifies me, Anton. I'm scared for society that you can't even say the word, but yet yeah, you can do it. <laughs> okay, okay. I just had sex with my girlfriend, and I really don't know if she is pregnant. When did you guys have sex? A couple of weeks ago. Weeks ago. Nice. Um, do you know when her uh, her period comes around? Like what part of the month? Like generally, you know, like they say 28 days. I mean, mo- most times. I mean, obviously, there are irregular girls out there. But it's been a few weeks, meaning if she's normal, she should be getting it soon, within the next week or so, yes? Yeah. Uh, I really All don't right. know. I <laughs> period. God, these kids. You didn't ask her, Anton? No, at all, no, at all. <laughs> is, she, uh, is she kind of scared that she might be pregnant as well, or is this uh, only you? No, of course, both of us. We're scared. We're, I'm just 17, and she's just a year younger than me. <sighs> Did you come inside her? Yeah, yeah. The yes. whole thing? The whole thing. All right. Well, again, at this point, you have to assume that she's pregnant until, um, you know, the week that her period is supposed to happen and it's, it's not happening. You, again, have to assume that she's going to be pregnant. You got to go out. You got to get one of these pregnancy uh, tests. They're really cheap. Maybe, I don't know, 50 bucks, 75 bucks, maybe 100 bucks maximum at your mercury drug or wherever. And uh, buy two or three of those bad boys and check if she is or not. Now, yeah. obviously, you're not ready to be a dad because I can hear it in your voice, and um, and you're, and you're you're fucking terrified. I'm assuming, uh, 16 years old, man. Yeah, I can buy 16. him all the pregnancy tests, but I they're so that's fucking fucking what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? No, no. I, you can I buy can... her all the tests you want. Yes, and hello. Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. Yes, I said I can buy all her the pregnancy tests. But knowing the result, I can't take that. Yeah. First of all, you cannot buy her all the pregnancy tests that she <laughs> wants. Your parents can buy her all the pregnancy tests she wants. Because I'm pretty sure you don't have a fucking job. So what you're going to do is you're going to ask mom and dad if you can borrow 300 bucks, 500 bucks, or let's just say 1000 bucks if you want to go hashtag south since you're from Paranaque. And you can buy her 10 tests. But you see, you're asking for money. So you can't. Like, 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 I want you to rephrase your statement because I hear douchebag when you say shit like that. Oh, man, I, I can buy her as many uh, fucking tests as I want. No, you can't. 
You're 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 a teenager. You have you don't have a job. You're gonna borrow money and then and you see that's why when you're having sex, kids, and you're this guy who top of the world, probably you're probably a rich kid. Yes, Anton, have a lot of money, big house, but it's really not yours. And it, and when you in your mind you think, oh yeah, well I'm I'm king of the world. I'm gonna go fuck my girlfriend with no condom. And then now you go back and you revert to little kid because you're scared. So so now that it's in the past, my friend. Let's just do this. Go ahead, do the test. That's the only thing you can do at this at this moment. If you find out that it's uh, positive and that she's indeed, indeed pregnant, you got to go. Obviously, you're going to go to your parents. You're going to tell them what's going on, and then we're going to see what we're going to do from there. Oh. Listen, I, I've uh, I you know me. I, I mean, I don't know if you know me, uh, Anton, but I've been part of of this twice. I have a daughter. Uh, and I was 22 when when I had her, and then uh, I had a girlfriend recently that was pregnant, and uh, that happened, uh, you know, a, a few years back. It is it is scary each and every time when you when you're not ready for it. And uh, with the latter one, um, as you may have heard, it, you know, it, it was terminated, and it is. Like, it haunts me every fucking day, Anton. And, and I, I know, it, you know, maybe it's going to be one of the options for you guys. I'd say, I'd say don't do it. it. It's a horrible option. And just just between you and me, I, I, as much as I tried to um, kind of think about it and think that, okay, maybe it might be the right choice, it was never the right choice. So, so if that ever comes around, Anton, even though she's 16 and there's going to be two sides to this, people are going to say, oh, my God, but she's so young and she'll be shattered. There are people out there that make it happen. She'll be 17 when she gives birth. If, she, if it's, if it's the ca- that case, people do it, do it successfully. I mean, it's unfortunate and unplanned. But if you ask me, it's, it's the right call to make. You, you keep it if, if, it's a, if, you know, if she is, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, bud. Okay. Ah. Hang in there, man. Hey, call me back, dude. Let me know. I probably won't remember you when you do call me back because I never remember. But call me back and retell the story. Then I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. All right, All right, right. man. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mo. All right, rich kid. No worries, man. Have a good one. Bye-bye. 478-7954. Woo. First one off the bat. 17-year-old. Boy, does he sound terrified. Man, he sounds scared. Holy shit. Simplicity. 28 years old. Uh, you are on uh, line one. You're from Rizal. What's going on, Simplicity? Thanks for being on the show tonight. Hi, DJ Mo. Hi, Simplicity. What's um, up? I'm your avid, or I'm one of your avid listener. And Thank you. Right now, my concern is about my ex boyfriend. I just broke up with him last night. Sure. And the reason is, um, his unemployed for almost three years and we're now during our our relationship is we will celebrate our relationship in September and it's four years na so ang tatanong ko lang yun ba yung pwede ko bang gawing reason yung dahil wala siyang trabaho Medyo yung patience ko na ubus na, pero mahal ko siya, mabait siya. Sobra lang hindi namin nagagawa yung normal na ginagawa ng ibang magkakarelasyon. Dahil hindi niya kaya, dahil, pero ang nagustuhan ko lang sa kanya, hindi talaga siya nag... Alam niya, hindi, hindi niya ginagamit ako, hindi niya hinihiling, hinihiling sa akin na ako yung gumastos every time na... Gusto ko lumabas. Yun ang ayaw na ayaw niya sa lahat. Kaso lang, bilang babae kasi naubos na ano talaga ako eh. Yeah, no, I get you. Listen, uh, Simplicity, why doesn't he have a job? I, I mean, three years unemployed. A- ano mm-hmm. ba yung mga dahilan kung bakit wala siyang trabaho? Ano, ano ba sinasabi niya sa, sa iyo na, ah, I'm sorry kasi may, may, ano, may sakit siya. Oh. May, well, I mean, what, what's the excuse for not having a job for three years? Actually, yung... Unang reason niya talaga, hindi siya nakakapasa. He tried his best naman to look for a job, kaso malas lang talaga siya palagi. And then, tunghuli, financial reason na kasi 
nahihiya na rin siyang humingi dun sa nagsus- sumusuporta sa kanya para gasa sa inyong mga sa pag apply So, kagabi. And the question is, is it okay for you to break up with him Mm-mm. because, because he, he is of- unemployed? Yes. And yeah, the answer, uh, simplicity, is yes. You can, you should break up with him if he doesn't have a job. Well, it's not universal, yes, you should break up. But it's mm-hmm. if he's not looking for a job, then you can break up with him. Like, it, people get fired all the time for whatever reason. Like, you get laid off, tapos wala kang trabaho for one year. You don't break up with that guy. I mean, just as long mm-hmm. as he tries to find a job. This guy has been uh, unemployed for three years. Three years. And if he wasn't doing anything but sitting around and getting support from someone at 28, how old was he? Was he 28 years old also? Mm-mm. Yeah, it's fine. Breaking up with him is fine. I, I, I know it's difficult. Sure. Yeah, I know it's difficult, but come on. You guys, simplicity, it's not even about your security. It's about being with someone who is not willing to be a part of the workforce. And we all have to be a part of the workforce. Everybody has to work. Even the pinaka... I mean, I have friends right now that are super yaman. Ano ginagawa nila? They're studying master's degree. Sa mga course nila, tangin na kahirap-hirap naman yung mga course nila. Pero I'm like, I, sometimes I think in my mind, why do you do it? You're so rich. I mean, maybe why don't you just open up a... Buy a gas station and then just sit there and watch it grow. But the, the, the feeling of being productive... Is a feeling that most humans, you want them to have that. You want most people in our society to have that feeling to be productive. They want to do something with their life. And if you, especially if you need the money, if you both need the money, especially him, if he needs the money, tapos wala siyang ginagawa, nakaintay lang dun three years na walang trabaho, you break up with him. Have to. You have to do it. No, don't. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel, no, no, don't feel guilty. And, and the thing is, don't break up with him overnight. I mean, you tell him, I don't know, it's not working out. It, you have to get a job because we, if we're going to become a family, if we're going to take the next step in this relationship, I'm 28 years old. I need to find a guy who I know is going to be productive. You don't have to buy me things. You don't have to buy us a house. You don't have to do any of these things. But I need to know that you are capable of being an adult. So, okay lang. Yeah, okay lang. It, it sucks. It's gonna feel bad because wala kayo yung problema. Wala kayo yung, uh, in, 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 you know, you guys are not fighting. Walang jealousy, walang this, walang that. It's just, he's lazy. Simplicity. He has to be out there looking for jobs. And if he's not doing it, you break up with him. Absolutely. Okay. Salamat, DJ Mo. Na, you're welcome. Yung yung pakiramdam ko. Yeah, you're, you're, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. But I mean, shit. You, it's it's the right thing to do, especially 28 years old. You you have to kind of you have it, it, you know play time is over. Fucking around time is over. It's time to get serious. That's right. You leave Hindi ko alam kung kaya kong tiisin yung ganun kasi maraming beses na kaming nag, nag-break pero wala, yeah. hindi ko siya na titi. Simplicity, you're doing the right thing for yourself and for him. I mean, because it might be you breaking up with him might be a wake up call. Now, if he comes back for, for example, in one month or two months, na may job na siya, alam mo simplicity, may trabaho na ako, inayos ko na yung sarili ko, you know, all of these kind of things. Thank you for showing me that I need to grow up. Then you can take him back. But if he doesn't come back without a goddamn job mm-hmm. and some sort of direction, then you leave him out there to grow up. Okay, sige, salamat. All right, uh... You're welcome. And, uh, thank you, DJ Mo. And thank you, love. Good job sa, sa show mo. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Have a good one. God bless okay. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's go to uh, Jaisha. I think that's her name. Jaisha, you are 19 in Tacloban. What's up, Jaisha? Thanks for being on the show. Hello? I think we have Jaisha on Skype here. Jaisha? Did we lose her? Yeah? No? Okay. Let's check Dean. 21. Dean, you are on line three. You guys are, of course, listening to Good Times from the podcast. Uh, season two brought to you by Globe. Line three. Dean, what's up? Hello. Hi, Dean. Hello. Hi. Um, 
me, there's this problem that's an ex-girlfriend of mine. Hello? Okay, yeah, go. Um, nag-break kami ng January. Last January, tapos, um, nung may pagbaligan siya. Pero, there's, may one time na nagkita kami, tapos nag-sex kami. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, pero nung time na nag, hindi kami nagkikita, meron pala siyang ibang na sex so, Pero break na kami lang. Ka-sex. Yeah, alright. Hello? Yeah, Dean, I'm listening. So your girlfriend, you 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 had sex with your girlfriend. You guys broke up, and you also found out while you were broken up, she had sex with another guy. Hmm. Pero late na late na ho, bago on alaman. All right. Apo. Continue. Apo. Yeah, your question. What's the question? Question wala po is kung deserving bang may pagbalikan pa or hindi na po. Do you want her back? Um. Hindi na po, pero parang napipilitan na lang mag-stay po. Bakit? Um, masyado po. Um, t- kasi tuwing may klase po ako, pupunta siya lagi sa room ko po. Sa room. Tapos parang And? napipilitan na lumabas or may skip pa ako sa subject na yun na lagi kong nababagsak dahil yun yan, mahirap. Parang kasi... Dean, if you want to be on the Dean's list, my friend, if the, the moment she comes to your fucking classroom and she wants you to skip cut or cut class, you leave her out there. Mm. Just leave her out there. You don't need to go outside and talk to her. Fuck her. You guys are broken up. Mm. Leave her ass outside. Um, yun nga po, after parang mananaid siya, mangungurot siya, pagka lumabas ako, tas hindi ko siya pinansin. Okay lang yung huwag mo pansinin. Putang ina, kaya nga nandun eh. Palagi kasi you keep on giving her attention. If you've broken up with her, you leave her outside. And please, stop having sex with her. You guys have broken up. You stay broken up. I know you want to I know you want to put your dick into something, but do not have sex with her because you guys, in fact, are no longer together. Why did you guys break up? Well, um, parang nawala na po ng time sa isa't isa before. Nung last year, um, mga December, ganun po. Okay, if you have broken up for whatever reason, you stick with that decision, and if that's what you want. If you want to take her back, then fuck, take her back. But, but please stop having sex with her because you're sending the wrong message. And if she's going to have sex with someone else, then let her have sex with someone else. That's what she wants to do. That's what she's going to do with her single life. Then so be it. Please get your mind around the class that you keep on failing. Get your studies in order, whatever your priorities are. And then, you know, you want to have casual sex, have, ca- have casual sex with other girls, not this girl. Because she's going to be at your classroom every single day because she's going to think you're still interested in her because you're still paying attention to her. She goes to your classroom, you cut class for her, you're going to fucking fail, you hang out with her, then you fuck her every now and then. She's going to think, obviously, that you're sending her this weird message that you still want to be a part of her life. You are broken up. Stay broken up. You can be nice to her and say, hey, listen, the reason why we broke up is because I keep failing this class. I need to, I need to not cut class. I need to be serious about it. You don't have to be an asshole, but if she's there, you have to say, I'm sorry, I don't have time. We have to move on. There's a lot of problems. Doing that, she's going to go to our house, and she's going to go to our family. Dean, you have to tell her clearly. Like, you have to tell her clearly. You have to tell her clearly. Mm. Para ma- para niya, she cannot go to your house and your school or your classroom anymore. It's fucking up your study time. Just say, uh, I'm sorry, whatever your name is. I'm, I'm doing my homework. I'm doing my thesis. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking uh, uh, studying for finals week. I'm doing all of these things. I really can't hang out. Maybe on Saturday, you just lie. Maybe on Saturday, I'll hang out with you, but I can't right now. I am studying. I am failing my class, and I need to, or else my parents are going to fucking throw me out of the house. Kasi po, gano, hindi siya nakikinig sa akin sa mga sinasabi ko kasi parang may problem siya sa family niya. Na parang siya sabi niya, ako lang daw yung parang tumutulong sa kanya, gano, sabi niya. Tapos kasi yung dad niya nga, polis. Dean, parang yeah, but Dean, parang susumbong niya ako, gano, parang ipapa... 
So, so she's now blackmailing you as well, yeah, which is uh, she said she's gonna make some bong to her dad, na police, mm-hmm. na kinantot mo siya sa puet or whatever, at mm-hmm. uh, or whatever kind of drama it is that he's gonna go over there and shoot you. That's what's happening. Uh-huh. So you're being hijacked. Your life at 21, you can't go to school because this girl says you have to hang out with me, or I'm gonna tell my police dad that you fucked me and he's gonna shoot you. That's what's going on in your life. Kapo pa ang ganap, kaya po yung parang ginagawa nare sa anya parents ko na taot nare kasi sa nangyayari tas parang gra- lagi na ang grounded sa parents ko. Tas may time pa rin na pumunta siya sa bahay namin ulit parang nangungulit na naman siya parang ganon. Kasi Dean, parang ano siya? Dean, parang, stop being a pussy. Dean, the- stop being Dean. Dean, listen to me. Stop being a pussy. All right. Fuck this girl. If she's gonna fucking blackmail you, you leave her ass outside of the house. May gate ba kayo sa bahay? Meron ho. Don't open the gate when her ass is outside. If when she goes to the school, you you can talk. You can make some bong. Make some bong to the fucking dean of your college, saying, "Hey, listen, uh, my ex girlfriend is here every single day. Hindi na ako concentrate dito sa mga studies ko because of this girl. Mm. And, and if she threatens you to tell her dad, then tell it. Go. Tell, fine. Tell your dad. Let's see what he says. I'm, I'm you think you think your dad, his dad's gonna go out and fucking shoot you? Of course not. Oh, and because po parang may anong dad niya parang sa tagig na parang um connected siya sa mga drugs parang ganon po. Parang yeah, Dean, parang, Dean, ganun. Dean, have you seen her dad? Have you seen her dad sling drugs? Have you seen the dad push drugs in your in front of you, or is this just the story that she makes? Um, hindi, this is the story that she's told you. Um, hindi po, meron po talagang proof sa bahay nila na nagkakano po yung dad niya. Okay, listen. The dad doesn't have time for this shit. Listen. Dean, pa? please ignore this girl, okay? Uh-huh. If you're scared, then tell your local police guy, but you know you know how it works in our system. If that's a police guy too and the other guy's a police guy, you're fucking screwed. Mm-hmm. I think initially, just start ignoring her for a little bit. She's going to use her dad's badass kind of stand to, to, to try to make you talk to her and hang out with her. It's fucking crazy. P- please just ignore her. She'll grow up, hopefully. And if she tells her dad and the dad comes over to your house, don't open the gate either. I'm sure there is also one of the things that blackmail na may sinabi ano? siya na nag-abortion daw, ganun daw, na may in-abortion daw, may ginawa. Tapos, parang yun ay pinanindigan niya po lagi. Parang ako naman, syempre, ako din ako sa parents ko na i-confront nila ako. Does, uh, does she have proof? Um, kasi before yung mga, meron proof na parang, ang tawag din, yung pregnancy test, strip, nag-positive. Yeah, and, and, and it, it said positive. Okay, but it, if she had three positive pregnancy tests, that means she was pregnant, yes? Did you guys have an abortion or not? Um, not really. Not really. How do you not really have an abortion? India. Yeah, all right. Dean, you're confusing me. All right, buddy, listen. Just ignore her. Don't worry about the blackmail bullshit because, I mean, if she comes to your house with three pregnancy tests and, you know, again, just say, Let, let's go to the doctor right now. Let's go to the hospital and find out if you're pregnant or not. I mean, you can at least be smart about some of this stuff and please ignore her at all costs and her dad and the whole thing and study in school and just don't be a pussy. All right. You're 21. Man up. All right. All right, buddy. Hang in there. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank you. We got calls from all around the world Melbourne, Australia, Saudi Arabia, all over the Philippines and the provinces. Thanks for all the people trying to get on the program tonight. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll get you on the podcast tonight. Hopefully, you can win an iPhone 5, Blackberry Curve, other great prizes. Phone numbers 478 7954. Good times for more of the podcast season two. Brought to you by Globe More. Your calls when you return. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. text text friends always on call friends not just facebook friends bring them all together with go only party from globe prepaid go call go text go share for only 30 passes a day don't just get a network of friends go get a globe of them 
Go make it happen with Go Only 30. Go lang ng go! Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was... <laughs> you made it up! <laughs> you made it up! I mean, this time of year, right? Elections... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Okay? <laughs> Children, do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay? Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harassed. Drugs are planted. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and they're, they're other things, stores. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh no! Yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. Just there's really no defense. With yeah, it's like, <laughs> but Your Honor, we found this. I <laughs> throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, have to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch Lord. James Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here on the Factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry. Okay, it's coming. Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here. It is a Monday night, 18th of March. Next week, what is the... Uh, let me ask the staff here. What are we going to do about next week? Next week's Holy Week, isn't it? 
Obviously, we're not going to have shows Thursday, Friday. Do we, do we have a show on Wednesday? Or is that, since it's Wednesday night, it's still kind of like holy in its own little way? I'm sorry? Tuesday? All right. Fair enough. So one whole week of the podcast this week, and of course, Monday, Tuesday, next week. Good Times Roll Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo, phone number 478-7954. Catch us on Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can also send us a text message. We'll try to give you a call at 0927-360-0485. Any announcements before? No? All right. We'll do some announcements a little bit later on the program. Let's take some more of these calls. Just me and you guys, no celebrity, but tomorrow, boom, what a... Oh, I'm, I'm telling you. The, the online crowd's going to go nuts. Elodia will be on the show. Cosplayer Elodia. I mean, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name. I'll study it tonight, so tomorrow I won't fuck that up. But we, we've had her in season one. We had a ton of calls. We had a ton of viewers for Elodia. Obviously, she's a fucking rock star online. So uh, she'll be on the program tomorrow night. Make sure to check that out. Uh, Wednesday, we have Bianca Valerio. You know, high society uh, model chick who has a podcast running on this network. I've known Bianca a long time. Super high society, though. Like, I mean, talk about hashtag South. Hashtag Deep South. You know, girls that you see on, like, Philippine Tatler magazines. All the, I hate that magazine. But you'll see her there. And I like Bianca. She's cool. She's a lot of fun. So we'll have her on Wednesday. But, yeah, don't forget, Elodia tomorrow. All right, let's get to some of these calls. Let's start with Amber, who is... Amber is 18 years old in Manila. Hi, Amber. How are you? Welcome to the show. What's going on, love? Um, Hi. I was just going to ask, um, how do you tell a guy that his semen tastes bad without, you know, offending him? Um, well, you, how do you tell, I mean, it's a, isn't it supposed to kind of taste bad? I, I, I mean, have you tasted semen that doesn't taste bad? Um, no, only once. Oh, so you've only swallowed once? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to taste bad. I mean, you know, there's always kind of these, there's always these, like, jokes about when you say, oh, it smells like Clorox and stuff like that. So, of yeah. course, it's going to taste bad. Now, if, if now, <laughs> this is going to sound weird. And please don't edit everything else. Please don't edit what I'm going to say to only... I, I've asked the staff, please don't, or maybe people listening who <laughs> might edit this and kind of play back only the part that I'm going to say. I've tasted semen. And the, the, the reason why I've... T- well, the, I'll tell you why. It's because, like, when your girlfriend gives you a blowjob and then you fucking, you know, ejaculate in her mouth and then she kisses you after, I always kind of feel weird Uh-oh. when she kisses me. I'm like, oh, this is kind of weird. But it's my semen, so maybe it's okay. So I've tasted it. And it doesn't... It doesn't taste like... it. First of all, it doesn't taste good. There's no ice cream that's going to be fucking semen-flavored ice cream. <laughs> But it, it doesn't taste like – it's not atrocious. You know, it's not like, oh, my God. It's not, it's not a rotting, like, fruit or something like that. It, it's, it's just bad, you know, but it's not horrible. Now, when you tasted his uh, semen, his ejaculate, is it really awful? Is it like, is like, like infection? I, I taste like nana in my mouth kind of like taste to it? Oh, no. Just really bitter. Yeah, then that's normal. Then you just, listen, this is not, you don't have to swallow, uh, Amber, <laughs> next time you give your boyfriend a blowjob. You, or you can let him come in your mouth and then just spit it out on the, onto the side. Like, I've had girlfriends that spit it out because it's gross. And then I've had girlfriends that medyo matapang, na, na medyo, you know, they'll, you know they, they think it's awesome to swallow it because it's like a rite of passage of some sort. So they'll go ahead and ingest that shit. If I, I I don't get offended either way. If you if you if you know if you want me to ejaculate in your mouth and you spit it out to the side, no problem. It, it, guys, guys are. Uh, <laughs> so the staff just said, "Hey, listen, we're still your number one fan, even if you tasted semen." Uh, some some girls sometimes go, but you know, I want my boyfriend. I want to show my boyfriend I love him. That's why I'm going to swallow it. It plays no. It plays nothing. Just as long as we ejaculate, we're completely happy. You can spit it out onto the side. It's it's fine. And do the thing that you do to that girlfriends have done to me. Uh, let your boyfriend come in your mouth. Keep keep like half of it in your mouth and make out with him. 
And, and he, he can't say no because it's like, you know, fuck, you gave me a blowjob. Now I have to kiss you. We don't want to kiss you, but we're going to we're going to do it anyway. And then have like have like two or three ounces of his jizz kind of like spill back into his mouth just to fuck him over. Please, all girls do this. It's awesome. We hate it. We fucking hate it, but we can't say no. <laughs> OK. All right. So I've so I've sw- I've swallowed semen before. Oh, my. Okay. Someone says here, uh, Abby says here, Abby, who's in Madrid, uh, Spain, says, uh, tell her to watch Sex in the City and pull a Samantha, which I don't know what that means. But I'm assuming that that's also quite, you know how, you know, they do that sometimes with smoke, right? I mean, again, I'm not a smoker, but sometimes you'll smoke, you'll inhale, and then you'll go to the, your boyfriend or whoever, and you'll blow it into his mouth. Do that with the jizz. All right. It's going to be fun. <laughs> fun for him. He's going to fucking Yeah. Hate. All right, Amber, you're starting young, baby. I like that. Be safe. You're 18. Already right. complaining about the taste of cum. Thanks for the call, <laughs> love. Anything else? Uh, that's all. All right. Godspeed. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> you're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Let's go to line two and talk to Apple, who's 21. Hi, Apple. You're on the show. How can we help you, love? Apple? Did we lose Apple? Hello? Let me check here. Guys, did we lose Apple? Call him back. All right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we will go to Skype. Let's see. We have Saudi. We have uh, Melbourne. We have uh, Antipolo. Again, if you just tuned in, no celebrity guests tonight. Just a little intimate question and answer portion between uh, myself and uh, all of you guys around the world. So if you want to call us, we're 478-7954. Um, let's get, uh, who's this, Cassandra? Cassandra, you're 29. You are in Melbourne, Australia. Hi, Cassandra. How are you? Oh, yeah, not too bad. Thank you. Not too bad. Beautiful city, by the way, if I may. I mean, I, mo- that Melbourne and Sydney, both of them are very different. Because I, I lived a little bit in Australia, but I stayed in Brisbane, which is pro- probably, what, the third best city that you guys have. But it's so far from how awesome Melbourne and Sydney are. Like, they are a cut above, so different from the rest of the country. Um, a, a lot of people don't like the city life. But if you like that city life, fuck, man. You can't, you can't go wrong with moving to Melbourne or Sydney. Just two extremely Beautiful, beautiful well, cities. Um, a lot of people are saying that Melbourne is a bit boring compared to Sydney, because um, Sydney's more like Manila. So I don't know, but um, yeah. I'm yeah, but about. it's like saying San Francisco is more boring compared to New York. You can't go wrong with either of those. Like, because New York and San Francisco are are the U.S. version of because I'm in the U.S. The U.S. version of Sydney and Melbourne. Like Sydney being New York, bigger city, bigger, louder, a lot more people, a lot of shit going on. But San Francisco, while more, while, yes, more laid back, you can't say that it's not as beautiful or, in fact, maybe even more beautiful than New York, just the city alone. So I think Melbourne is a prettier city, perhaps. Fine, maybe a little bit more laid back, but you can't go wrong with either of them. They're both such fucking gorgeous places to live. Yeah, they are. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Well, what's going on, Cassandra? How can we help you? Oh, yeah. Um, I've actually been trying to contact you. But, um, yeah, it's just so hard because I don't know how. I don't know how to call you or something. But, yeah, to make the story short, um, I've been, like, a mistress for, like, four years now, almost four years. Yeah, you have that mistress voice, too. You know, kind of like that. You know, mistresses, they whisper a lot. You don't get a lot of loud mistresses, you know? they I've been a mistress? Yeah, okay, so anyway, sorry. You, you've been a mistress for three years now, all right? And then? Yeah, um, I want to stop it, but um, I don't know how since, look, we're sort of like related because um, he is my sister's husband and we live in one room. That's the reason why I'm whispering right now because um, he might be hearing me at the other end, so... You're fucking your sister's husband for three years, and you're whispering because he might be in the other house where she lives too? He might be just outside my door. That's my concern. That's why I'm whispering. But yeah, we live together. Where's your sister? She's here. Yeah, where is your sister? Where is she? She's sleeping. With you? Like, you guys live in the same house? Yeah, I do. And her husband's... 
her husband. Okay, oh, this is awesome. You live in your sister and her husband's home. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you've been banging your sister's husband for three years. No, not three. More than three. Like, almost four. Okay, uh, excuse me, more. Four years you've been banging your sister's husband. We can go on forever on this one, Cassandra. Okay, let's start with... Why do you live with them? Um, it's a it's a very long story. It's just that just I have to probably it's okay. a little bit of a cultural thing, but because um, I didn't grow up here, but um, so, I've so been like here for like six seven years. But yeah, I just have to okay. be with them. All right, Cassandra, if you want to get if you want to end this relationship with her husband, it starts with moving out. There is, it is impossible. My, no, my sister. There is, I, I, I see zero chance of you being able to break up with him and still stay in that house. Is he Australian, Australian, like white guy Australian, or is he like Filipino who just happens to live in Australia as well? Half. He's half Filipino, half Aussie. Do you like him? Like, I mean, are you in love with him? I mean, you, you stayed for four years, or do you just let him fuck you because yeah, yeah. life is crazy? No, 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 I love him so much. I mean, I mean like, I've got a lot of, I've had a lot of relationships before, but I'm, I've never fallen in love with any of my boyfriends. Like, I'm 29 years old, and I've been with him for, what, four years now, and yeah, I've never felt this way before. That's why it's so hard for me to move away from him, even if I want to, like, I've been hurting too much, like recently, because I'm, um, you know, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of being just a pro- just a choice and not the priority. Like, you know, I, yeah, I'm, but but, but Cassandra, if, if, yeah, Cassandra, if I may, right? As as creepy as he sounds, to fuck both you and his wife, who happen to be sisters, you're even crazier than him because she's your sister. Like, obviously, we know, a hundred percent, we know that you and your sister either hate each other, don't know each other, or your family growing up was so fucked up that this to you is an option to fuck her husband for that long. So, so what we're talking about here is three people living in a household that grew up in an environment that was so chaotic that the three of you can pull this off right now. Do you get what I mean? It's like he's fucked up for sure for doing this, and you're even more fucked up for allowing it to happen. I know, but um, he just won't let me just go like that. I've tried. I've tried before, like, talking to him and all that. I've talked it out, but um, he's like, you know, I've taken care of you for so long. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let other men have you in bed ever. Yeah, Cassandra, this will come on, man. This is beyond drama. This is about as bad as it gets. Like, I can't even think. The only thing I can think of that makes this even worse of a situation is you getting pregnant. And, and then all of a sudden, you guys have cousins who are siblings and some fucking wild, crazy shit. Oh, that's like this. his now, original plan. Yeah, you see, he, he's, I, my, my God, Cassandra, what is this, a cult? What the fuck are you guys doing there? I see this in ultra-religious, fanatical cult kind of fucking behavior where the, the, the leader of the thing goes and fucks out all the girls there. You know, I mean, families and, you know, it, it's, it's too wild of an idea to process for a lot of people. And for even me, like, I've heard shit like this before. I mean, I've even, listen, I've come, my, not my immediate family but like my first cousins and stuff like that same exact situation where sister brother brother sister going i mean it it becomes fucking it's it's chaotic Mm -hmm. it's about as bad as it gets cassandra Mm -hmm. so if you want to finally fix this you got to move out of the house you have to he said that he's gonna kill me if i do that well then you tell the fucking police now this your sister has zero idea of what's going on between you and her husband yeah of course yeah and why would you is she your little sister no he's not she also, yeah. um, and why, why, why do you hate your sister 
I don't. Then why did you do this to her, man? It wasn't my fault. Look, it, yeah, I know. It I'm wasn't trying. your fault. You just happened to be naked. He happens to trip with his erection and land uh, inside your vagina. No, it wasn't like that. Can, well, here in Australia, here in Melbourne, you haven't got to lock the doors, so you can just go in and out without, you know, unlocking, because we haven't got any locks or whatever. So, um, what happened So was, one night, he just walks in and just puts no, his dick in you? No, it was in the shower. So, it was, she said, by accident. So, you know, he just saw me naked, and that's it. What are we going to do? Okay, well, no, no, it's not... So, wait, 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 time out. You were taking a bath, mm-hmm. and then he yeah. walked in? Yeah. Basically, and then yeah. he took off his clothes, went inside, and then just fucked you in the shower? Like, just like that? No. Um, he, he opened the shower door, and he was like, are you okay or not? And then, you know, I was caught in the middle. So what do you want me to do? Just do it. It was there. And then from that moment on, you thought it was a great idea for the next four years to continue to do this? I, I never thought that I'm going to love him. Never, never, ever. Wow. All right, baby. Listen. Um, I mean, it, it seems like an easy... Pro- it's a wild problem, but it is rather easy to fix. You got to get out of that house. If he threatens to kill you, you tell the police. You guys don't have the police that we're... T- like, we had in the first... Uh, a few calls ago where the guy fucking is a drug lord slash police officer. You, you, I mean, again, I've lived in Australia. You have a legitimate police force. If you tell him the story and say, hey, he, he said he's going to kill me if I, uh, if I say anything, and that's just why I haven't said anything, then they're, they're going to protect you. Um... um Gosh, it's so chaotic. You're definitely going to need some help. Also, after this, you're going to have to need. You're going to need to see a psychologist because the fact that you just allow a guy to come in your bathroom, open your shower, and go, "Hey, listen, you down for fucking?" and and that's your sister's husband means there's issues there that you need to kind of fix on your own. All right. Okay. I mean, you, you. you're you're twenty what twenty nine? Come on, yeah. man, let's go. You can't. This is. Come on. I mean, you sound like you've been molested, raped. I mean, in the past. I mean, you sound like it no. is. All, I mean, you've no, had no, the no, whole no, thing no, happen. I wasn't like that, you know. I feel I feel like I was emotionally tortured because um you know he's just so strict. Like he won't let me out of the house without him not. I've got a tracker. I've got you know I've got GPS and all that stupid stuff. But, um, yeah, I have no freedom at all, so that's what I'm so worried about. I want my life back, and, yeah, it just won't happen until I break up with him. Cassandra, are you ready also, um, are you ready also for what your sister's going to say about this? I mean, it, it, when she finds out, because she's going to find out if eventually this all hap- happens where you're going to detach yourself from them. Yeah, I'm not ready. No. Well, you, you're going to have to tell her, hey, listen, you know your husband. I, I, I didn't know what to do. I, I, you know, come on. It's, I don't know if you're vic- – because you're 29, I don't know. I guess, yeah, you're victimized by this guy right now. And he's blackmailing and all that stuff. But I'm so disappointed also that you know, the guy walks in the shower. He asks for permission, and you'll grant it. it that's the part that also I'm kind of pissed off about. All right, listen. Get out of the house. Tell the police. Break up with him immediately. Come clean with your sister. There's a lot to do, and then you got to get to see some help and see a psychologist. All right, Cassandra, there's a bit, a lot on the table there for you. Okay. Please do it. Come on, you sound hot, and you got you. You're living in a nice city. I mean, you got there are things that could be going for you, and they're not because you're letting this guy fucking take over your life. I know. Yeah. Get a real boyfriend. Get into a real relationship. Start enjoying the environment that you're in and, and remove yourself from the chaos. Okay. All right. Gosh, All Just Thank imagine. You. It's a Monday night in fucking Melbourne and you got to whisper to call somebody because the fucking guy might be at your door. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Come on, I'm baby. Sorry. All right. Have a good mm-hmm. night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Cassandra and Melbourne. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.
Something about that whispering voice, though, that's super hot. And then when she tells the story, you're like, yeah, in the shower. I just walked in, and then you just let him? Hell yeah. You know, it's kind of like that. I feel bad for her, though. Um, uh, let's get to more of these calls. 478-7954. Chris, 24, you are you're on line four. What's going on, Chris? You're from Cainta. What's up? Hi. Hi. Hi, Mo. Hi, Chris. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. How can we help you? Um, I I have a boyfriend right now, and it, uh-huh. we we've been together for a long time, and uh, I really really love him. Sure. And uh, in this past few days, he just resigned from his job, and he has a history of being depressed, and sure. he 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 was not able to uh, finish college and just sent him away okay and uh he tried uh working for call centers because uh of the minimum requirement for educational attainment so so he's not he's not getting hired yeah uh and um he's a very smart man uh, it's a typical smart man, and he's just uh, he he loses interest easily on doing things. But when he sees his passion, uh, he goes right into it. But I'm afraid that uh, this past few days he, he he's down in a slump. And how can I motivate him to? Why did he resign, though? Because it's so difficult to get a job considering his resume. I mean, regardless of how intelligent he is, if he didn't graduate and all of these things, and it's difficult to get a job if you're not a graduate, why did he resign from the from the from the job he had currently? Uh, he said that the workload was not reasonable reasonable enough. Although I I also think that it's not a good. Uh, reason to resign i don't know yeah listen people he, he sounds lazy to me but but he has uh when we talk about the future we we already have plans for a wedding and how uh what, which ha- which house should we uh, buy or which car? Which yeah, well, you need money to buy those things. And yeah, you, if I, you uh, don't have a job, you can't get fucking. You can't buy the house. You can't have the wedding. You can't get the car. Yeah, I, I, I think he. I don't. Somehow he realizes it, but uh, it's just that he's saying that he's. Do, uh, it's a matter of timing. Uh, no, that is the loser excuse. Uh, like that's in the loser excuse hall of fame. You can't, these guys, listen, fucking eight. Uh, you, the, the first girl who called, she did the right thing. She broke up with a guy. You need to break up with this guy. There's no such thing as timing. Timing was fucking four years ago. You're in your mid twenties already. What timing are you waiting for? You had a job. You resigned. You didn't finish school. You were one semester away from finishing school. Uh, whatever that reason, that that's that's irresponsible. I mean, it, it, you can't give ninety percent in life and 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 expect to be successful. You got to go the whole 100. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a, you know, like a, an athlete being interviewed at the end of a game. You got to do 100%. But I mean, you really got to do 100%. You can't go three years and then fucking leave one semester off and it just ruins the rest of your career. He needs to get enrolled, finish that last one so he can get a better job or get another job and stop complaining about, oh, the workload and all of these things. The reason why the workload is a lot, uh, because, you you have a shitty job, but you still need a job. There are people out there with a heavier workload, laborers with a fucking big yeah. time amount of workload, and they don't complain. Why? Because they need the job. Yeah, I I thought so too. But how? Uh, is there any way that I can motivate him uh, up? Yeah, breaking up with him is always a good motivation. Um, you can uh, look disappointed, maybe like don't have sex with him. 
If, if, if you don't want to break with him, just say, babe, well, like, you know, he wants to have sex with you, babe, and, and I, I can't wait tonight. I, and just imagine, I'm, I'm depressed. Why? You resigned. <laughs> I, that's what I would do. If you, if you don't want to break up with him, I would break up with him. But if you don't want to break up with him, I, 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 I would. Just to help him say, hey, listen, you can't live life like this. I can't be with someone like this. You can't be like this. Do you have okay. a job? Hello? Chris, you have a job? You have a job? Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. And even if you complain about it, you stay on it because you need it. That's the thing, people. Even if your job sucks... I understand people have sucky jobs and you want to quit. Yes, but quit after you get another job. Don't quit and then, they, oh, you know, timing wasn't right. No, jobs are so fucking difficult to get. A good job is so difficult. There's so many new young people out there that fucking graduate and they are ready to take on anything. And they're better than you. And they don't care if the work hours are, low, you know, are, are long and then the timing and all that. They'll do it because they know it's important. You're competing with a ye- – every year, thousands and thousands and thousands of students graduate, and they're out there to take your job. You got to keep it. And if you, and if you resign, then fuck, that's your, that's your problem. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. When I say those, when, when I say those kids are out there to take your job, I mean, I don't mean it in, in a negative way. They, they need a job as much as anyone, and they're hungry, and they're yeah. ready to go, and they'll take anything, man. Yeah. And if I was an employer, I'll take those kids because they're fucking, they're ready to go. They're excited about being introduced to life. They'll, they'll work for, for fucking, for chips, for nothing, for potato chips and french fries. They'll be out there working because they're excited <laughs> about being out in the workforce. And then if you, the, and the moment you start getting lazy and like, oh man, this is not for me, then boom, those kids take your job easily. Okay. All right, Chris. Thanks for the call. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. When we come back, we'll take some more calls. Um, again, on Skype, the Good Times Podcast. We've got a ton of Skype calls, by the way, so we'll go ahead and knock some of those out. Phone number 478-7954 if you're on the landline. It's Good Times from Mo, the podcast season two. I'm getting tweet after tweet after tweet in quotations from Mo. I, I ate semen. It's true, though. And some of you guys have as well. Come on, don't lie to me like that. Back up to this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Text text friends. Always on call friends. Not just Facebook friends. Bring them all together with Go Only 30 from Globe Prepaid. Go call, go text, go share. For only 30 pesos a day, don't just get a network of friends, go get a globe of them. Go make it happen with Go Only 30. Go lang lang go. Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. Okay. There you go. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Well, before that, I was... I was kicking ass. <laughs> so go with the theme of the show, How Not to Play. Not to play. It's Robert Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m., only here on The Factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. What you've been missing on the factory. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not <laughs> tears up. Tears up. Anyway, John this does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. 
so jauntous. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos. Ang puti. Ay, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ano <laughs> Yan, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> Tito oh. K, may caution. Ah, when, caution! When, caution! When, ah! Basta ng glamour te! Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Burahin na, burahin na siya. <laughs> oh my God! Damn! <laughs> Sorry, ma. Pabasa ka ang gawa! Ito talaga? Ah! Pwede bago yan. Don't okay. worry. Sorry. <laughs> Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi <laughs> naman nagkakap niya. But dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakin natin. <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry! Okay, it's coming! Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show. It is a Monday night. If you just downloaded our program, we appreciate it very much. Good times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954, Skype at The Good Times Podcast. Uh, we have, let's see here, quick announcement. Are you ready to get your game on? Chevrolet Philippines brings you the Chevrolet Sonic, a sporty and stylish subcompact car that has a 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with six-speed automatic transmission that provides you dependable speed, power, and fuel efficiency. The Chevrolet Sonic is also equipped with high-tech features such as steering wheel-mounted audio controls with USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth full audio streaming connectivity. The Sonic is available in hatchback and sedan variants. Dare to take on life's challenges head-on and complement your A-game with the all-new Chevrolet Sonic. Visit your nearest Chevrolet dealership or log on to ChevroletSonic.com.ph to check out the all-new 2013 Chevrolet Sonic. Game on! All right, let's get to uh, some of these calls. Let's start with... Uh, let's start with... 
Well, it's not a relationship call. A nice little break from relationship calls and talk to Maria, who is 17 years old. Hi, Maria. You are on the program. How can we help you? Thanks for being here. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Maria. Um, Maria, you sound like that girl from Australia. Your voice. Really? You know, that, that, yeah, the one like, yeah, I'm sleeping with my <laughs> sister's husband. So, um, but you're 17, so we shouldn't be flirting because, you know, that's... Um, uh, I'm not really 17. I might not huh? be. What? Well, never mind. Ah, um, you're starting early. Oh, my God. Promiscuous at such a young age. <laughs> you're 17, not, yes? You're 17. Come on, right? <laughs> Damn so, it. Um, yeah. Call yeah. me back in a few months. When do you turn 18? Sure. Sure. When do you turn um, 18? Um, so, prob- okay. Um, probably, you probably have, um, seen my question. So, for the audience's sake, yeah, I'm, yes. I'm a week from graduating high school, actually. Sure. Um, and, I I don't I know what to do, but at the same time I don't know what to do because I know what I I want to do. I want to take theater really badly, like really like really passionate about this. And then my parents just hinders me, like like hell. right because there's no money in art. There's oh, no money oh, in theater. Serio, so yeah. like, but, uh, well, they're they're right. <laughs> I mean, I they're know. right. There is no money there, but. I know, yeah, I mean it's that's what I'm risking cuz ito yung gusto ko eh bakit nieta na mo bakit diba Yeah 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 but let me ask you this how much money do you guys have as a family you a rich family Yeah sure. you can say that like Yeah cuz he cuz here's the thing if I had if I had rich I mean if I was rich right and my daughter wanted to uh, get into theater and I knew I had a ton of money I'd let her Yeah I know. Like, oh, we got money you know we got money like, like, I mean, don't you always want your, your kids to do it? Now, if we were poor and my daughter said, I want to get in theater, I'd be like, <laughs> fuck no. No I way. I know, I know. And because I just don't want to see you starve is what it is. And I'm, I'm not saying you theater people are starving. I, I know, I, please don't get me wrong if you, if you think it. it's yeah. just, we have to be realistic. There's not a lot of money there and I don't want. No, her no, to I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, I know how cheesy, as cheesy as it might be sound but i'm not really like setting my goal he- in the theater scene here in the philippines but more in the u.s because i'm migrating soon so okay but, uh, but, but, but real quick real quick if you okay if, if you're if you want broadway yeah sure yeah are you good enough see that's the th- fuck man you know it I know, here's the I thing know. here's the thing maria you have to not be bullshitting me you have to tell me if you are good enough like you know I, i'm here in the u.s right and people uh, yeah. say oh Mo, yeah, and I told you to see book of mormon oh oh you did oh i saw it twice <laughs> fucking loved it thank you um i fucking loved it have you seen it already in broadway yeah, dude. Oh, just around. the greatest, just the greatest fucking thing ever. All right. Okay. So you have a reference point. You know mm-hmm. how spot on these guys are, um, in, on Broadway. And I've seen a lot of Broadway musicals living in New York and whatnot. Are you as good as them? I, I am. I wouldn't do anything else if I weren't as good enough. But I'm willing to, I'm willing to study. That's why I want to study in Tish if, if I, NYU if I'm given a chance. Juilliard or whatever like that. All right. Gosh. So, um, okay. Shit. But you get a lot thing. of money. You know, we, we get, we get, we get prepared for high school. Dito sa Filipinas, diba? We get prepared. Ganito, ganyan. Maghanap ka na ng college mo. But then, after you graduate, parang pinapamukha na sa'yo yung future na that's been like ahead of you. What parang, do they want for you? Lang. What do your parents uh, typical, want for Typical, typical medicine. Alam mo. Yeah, yeah, law, some shit like that, fucking engineering, all that. Okay, um, you know, when you're, you're, you're migrating to the U.S. with your family, yes? Yep. Huh, shit. I know. Because my thing is, like, I, I, I want you to try to meet halfway with, with my frame of thought and their frame of thought, meaning, like, if, you know, I'd say you should, is there a way to minor in theater? Minor. I think it is just gonna be minor in acting and something like that. And and wait a minute. Do you have to have a theater educational background to be, to be able to get on, to be yeah to get on broad? I mean, you, 
So what I mean. like, like I'm trying song. to see if you can appease both. If, if you can do this, if you can take, okay, mom, fine. I'm not going to take theater as my formal course, but I'm going to be heavily involved in theater while I'm taking political science. You know, it, it, that, that's what I mean. It's like, you're going to take a different course, but you're going to be in all the organizations that have to do with theater. You're going to spend all your extracurricular time on, you know, it, like just being part of the production or mm-hmm. getting involved as, as singing or acting in, in these theater and things that, that the school might come up with. You know what I mean? It's like, you're, yeah, you're yeah. just not formally taking up the course, but, but you're to, fucking not, involved completely and altogether. immersed. Right. Can you yeah. do that? But, but you, you get, um, I'm, pay- I'm going to paint you the picture because if you want to be an engineer, you can be gumawa ng mga building kung hindi engineering yung kinuha niya, di ba? Kung heavily involved lang siya sa mga engineering. No, that's different though because, no, because there's people's lives on the line. Like, you fuck up the engineering part of it and a building falls out of the sky. I mean, it, engineering is, it's like, you can't be a doctor without taking medicine. You know, those are strange, extreme examples. I'm talking yeah. more like, um, you can still be in the, you can be a businesswoman and not take up business. You can be a lot of things and not take up that thing. Where, where, where theater is just kind of like, just in case it happens, it's going to happen. Okay. I'm only thinking about it in the frame of mind as your parents. All right. Because I'm trying to get you to sell it to them. If it was me and I had a lot of money and you wanted to be in theater, Maria, you can go in theater and I would support you wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. Now, if you were poor, again, I said, if we were poor and you wanted to go to theater, then I would say, babe, please don't do it. Please, I beg you. Because I can't hear up You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, I have to be realistic as a parent, okay? But if you've got fucking money, means I think there's a chance that they're going to say yes to it. But how do you sell it to them? How do you sell them the idea that it's going to be okay that you and, take a theater? The thing is, they've seen me in productions. They've seen me perform, and yet... I don't know what the hell is wrong. I don't know why they don't want me to take this as my career. And the thing is, I want to be trained. I want to be trained professionally. So it's not. Are you willing to pay your own tuition? That that I, I'm thinking like you take student loans, you go, okay, mom, this mm-hmm. is how it's going to be. We're going to mm-hmm. migrate and I'm going to take up theater. And they say, no, we're not going to pay. Then fine. I'm going to take yeah. student loans. I'm going to get a job at fucking, you know, wherever the gap or <laughs> banana Republic, whatever <laughs> the fuck it is. And just try to pay your way through for the first year or two. And then hopefully they'll see your brilliance. And then they go, okay, we're going to, we're going to pay for the rest. Oh, yeah. Do you want to try yeah. that route? Yeah, I'm good. I'm, t- I'm thinking about it because. My dad is currently in the U.S. right now, so so I've been talking about talking to him about you know g- going to the theater in San Francisco, and I guess he's open minded about it. But my mom is just like, oh, just not as not as fond of the idea, basically, because you know typically they they weren't as rich before, like her family. Sure, right, right, right. So she anyway. knows how the yeah, listen, system again, goes. If I were you, I'd just tell them, listen, this is what I really, really want. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm built for this. I can succeed in it. I can be the next Leia Salonga. I could be the next. I know I can do it. I know I can. You've seen me. You should believe in me. I mean, you should, you should butter them up by saying words like the talent that I have in me ha- is from you. You are my parents. This is a genetic thing. This, this talent I've given, while God given, it's parental given. Let me be all that I can be with what you've given me. I feel passionately about this. I am good enough to be up there on Book of Mormon. Well, that's an all male, almost an Dude, entirely all male. But, that, that but, but you know what I mean. <laughs> they don't have a white yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they do. That, that girl, yeah. the, 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 the daughter of the African guy, you know, the one who sings uh, Salt Lake City. But, but you go, um, I, am, I am as good as they can. I can be as good as them. I can be up there. And that's what I want to do. And it, I would appreciate if you help me. But if you don't. I'm still yeah. going to try my best to get there and I'm going to take up a job. <laughs> I'll, I'll borrow from the bank. You know, really, I'll, I'll make utang yeah, yeah. and all that just to do this. Uh-oh. But this is what I really want. And dude, you, ha- you, you have to hear my story kapag yung mga tita ko, they went, they're going to go over to her house and say, ano ba, walang pera dyan sa cheter. Walang pera dyan. Puro bakla dyan. Like, seriously, like, uh, kailangan may mga contact ka, mga, 
Oh God, it's so brown frustrating. You know, like, uh, listen. A lot of the stuff they're saying is true, but how? Would, know, but you have to tell them. But you different. have to tell them. But how? Who's going to be the next this? Who's going to be the next that if they don't go out and try it? And I'm going to go out and try it, and I'm going to do it. You know, because if we if we thought about it all the time, and if we said, yeah, there's no money there, and there's no, then no one would be there. There are people there for a reason, and I am sharing that reason with them to be up there. And yes, some of them become really rich, and yes, some of them have a hard time to paying the bills. But I, my, you know, my my sights, I have some, I have my sights on 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 being the best. And when you're the best, you make a lot of money. When you're the yeah. best at anything, you make money. All right. How did? Yeah, thanks. So, but how did you find New York? By the way. Oh, fucking! I love New York, and I miss it every yeah. single day. God, I love New York. It is just, just the greatest it, place in the world. You know, it really it's, is. It's, a, it's the most. I mean, uh, you can have most... more fun in any city. Yeah. You can have more fun in any country. However, tagline you want to use it, but there is nothing like New York. It is really touched by the touched by the hand of God Himself. Really, really <laughs> amazing. Yeah. So, I wish you the best, thank Maria. You. I hope to see you in one of the musicals someday soon. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> and, and when you're and when you're up there on Lion King or whatever the fuck, you and I'm in the crowd. You let me know that you called. Yeah, sure, Mo. You're good enough. Are you sure you're good enough? I am good enough. Are you want me to sing to you? Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. Let, let, yeah, let me hear it because we don't have a celebrity guest. This is kind of a different uh-huh. show tonight. Let me throw throw me um uh can I can I choose. Yeah, uh, sure. um, all right. Uh, can we go Book of Mormon since we've been talking Book of Mormon? Let's do Mormon, uh, right? Yes. Like, um, you know any of the songs from the Book of Mormon? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, you could do uh, Baptize Me. There's a female um, yeah. part there in Baptize Me. You know that one? I'm gonna about the, yeah, sure. You can do Hasadiga <clears throat> Ibuwai. Hasadiga. Do- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's let, do Baptize Me. Oh, my God. You should, oh God, this is impromptu as hell. Uh, well, you asked, you you said you want, and by the way, this is Skype too, so it might not sound as good, but I'm going to give you that. So here we go. Let's, let's hear, uh, let's hear you baptize me from Book of hmm. Mormon. Uh, I'm going to sing the chorus though. Okay. Of course. And what were the part where the daughter sings? I'm going to baptize her. Something like that. I forgot the freaking lyric. So. Get the lyrics, man. Come on. I'll put you on hold. I'll put you on hold. I'm going to get the uh, the other caller. You practice, and I'll come back at you. Sure. Okay. All right. Hold okay. on. I'll put you on hold. Let's okay. go to Yai. Uh, sorry. Let's go to Honey. Honey, you're 22. Line two. Hi, Honey. How are you? Hi, Mo. What's up, baby? Hi. I called back for revenge. Oh, you're calling for revenge? Yeah. Love it. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So um, I called last January 2011. Just weeks before um, I gave birth to my son. So okay. um, my problem back then was my boyfriend for three years left me when I disapproved of abortion. And Good then um, uh, not only that, hindi lang yun yung, yung pinaka worst part. Kinakalat niya kasi uh, we studied at the same school. Kinakalat yeah. niya sa school na he's not the father of my son. Lovely. He's pointing his fingers to other men. That he Lovely. said I dated. Sure. So um, you promised me, <laughs> I remember that, January 2011, that I have to go back to you a year later, which is 2012, um, so you'll give me the best revenge I'll ever have. <laughs> I said that <laughs> two years ago. Okay, so it, it's been two years and you still want to get back at this fucker, huh? Yeah. All right, but do you listen to the show uh, religiously, this program? Yeah, every night. So Every night, so you listen to all the episodes. So when I ask, when I tell people uh, revenge advice, when I give them revenge advice, what's the number one thing I tell them to have in their possession uh, when they embark on this you know, journey of revenge? What are, they, what are they supposed to have? Proof. They have to have proof of something. They have to have bullets. You can't go to war with a gun that doesn't have bullets. And I always tell them, like, hey, you know, people who say, oh, I mean, I'm fucking my boss and his wife is mad. And I always say, what's the one thing you're supposed to have? Emails, text messages, pictures, bam, you have to have all of that stuff. What do you bring to this war? Because revenge is a brutal battle. And if you're not equipped, it's it, you're going to lose. So, so this is advice for all you people who want to get revenge on somebody who fucked you over. 
What do you bring to the table? What do you have in your pocket? When you go to war, what are your weapons? What are you looking at here? So, honey, what do you have? Oh, God, you don't I have, have anything. Nothing. It's a tough fight. Tough I fight. only have my son. Yeah, tough fight. So, because because a lot of the other stuff, I mean, when you say revenge, I mean, because I don't want you guys to do anything illegal. I don't want you to go out and hurt somebody. I do sometimes promote you going over there and beating the shit out of another guy or beating the shit out of another. I've said that many times. That's because, you know, they've done like they've maybe hurt your child or hurt your parents. You know, you know I'd go over there and beat the shit out of you if you hurt my sister. That is fact. That's probably illegal. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go over there and beat the shit out of you if you do something like that. So um, if you don't have anything at your disposal, you have to get some. What do you suggest? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, uh, hold on. I'm still, I'm still reading this message from this girl. Okay. Um, where does he work? He doesn't have the work. He graduated a year ago and he still doesn't have work. Huh. And he's borrowing my kid at least once a month. Well, through, through his sister. I'm stuck, honey. I mean, if you don't have any bullets, you can't sabotage his work. Um, does he live nearby? Yeah. Near my house. Does he, he like a being this father? Is his fourth girlfriend after me. Yeah, but okay, fine. But see, now, now you're just you're validating why he's a dick. We know he's a dick. Does he? Uh, does he like uh, your your kid, the son, the daughter? I mean, does he like spending time? Is he kind of like a good dad? Uh, you know, considering he's an asshole. Nah, I don't think so. He doesn't. Uh, not really. I don't know. Uh, the parents care about my kid, but him, not sure. The parents. His parents are involved a lot. I'm sorry. His parents are involved a lot. Um. Yeah, they give um, they give money to my son, and they borrow him at least once a month overnight. I don't know, dude. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm I'm stuck because you don't have anything with with you that you can use. Uh, it's been two years. You know, if I were you, and this is the best I can do, and then even the great me gets stumped by this uh, sometimes is you wait you wait until he fucks up and you exploit it <laughs> i mean that that's i mean that, like, that's the you wait for you wait for a moment of weakness and you bring it and that could be 10 years it could be 15 years it could be six months but you wait a little bit and you find that that achilles heel and that soft spot and when it and when it shows you 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 hit it yeah. Because yeah. because right now, I mean, again, you, you're, you're trying to pick a fight and you don't have anything with you. So you're going to have to wait for a moment of weakness or, or when he needs something and, or, you know, he's in trouble and you exploit the shit out of it. Yeah. Um, well, I have one more question. Yes, love. Um, do you think it's fair that um, I'm letting him borrow my son after he... Um... Well... Uh, I, I was going to say don't, but he doesn't care. And, and the thing is, the parents give you money. The moment you stop that, maybe they're not going to help out. And I don't know what your financial situation is in your life. And if you need that, you know, I mean, I, I, again, this is really bad advice because you're using the kid now as kind of like a bargaining chip and a tool or, you know, it, it's wrong because kawawa naman yung child. But I, I'm trying to think in the mind of you. If that money helps out a lot and, you know, if he, he the kid's going to get some um you know, exposure to loving uh, grandparents. You, you don't want him to. You don't want to deprive your child of that as well. Now, if it's just the guy and he's taking the kid out and doing stupid shit with him, then maybe you can say, "Hey, listen, I, I don't approve of this because I you have sole custody and stuff like that." But if the grandparents are loving people and you know they're they're helping support, you should at least you know let let him stay there uh, once a month. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And then, honey, wait. Wait for the moment that you're going to exploit. I will. I'll That's call the best back. we can do at this point. All right, baby. Thanks. Okay. Thank Have you. Have a good one. Uh, let's go to oh, let's go back to Maria here, who's going to try to wow us with her version of "Baptize Me." If you don't know what "Baptize Me," it's from the musical, um, "The Book of Mormon." All right. Again, you're on Skype, so I'm going to forgive yeah. you if it sounds like shit a little bit, but you have to be yeah. good because if you're not good, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, sure. Because I'm not right. really. I don't know. So it goes like. 
He will baptize me. He will hold me in his arms and he will baptize me. Right in front of everyone, he will set me free. And when he looks into my eyes and he sees how much I love being baptized. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not, not bad, bad at all. Again, I mean, for, for Skype, not bad. I mean, if that was a microphone, I'd be saying that's horrible. But with us, no, I mean, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're all right. You can do it. At 17, I think you can, you can hone some of that and, and then be trained and then go out there and rip. Yeah, yeah you know. You're all right. And again, rich kid family, fuck, go ahead and do it. You're I not going to start. I'm not, I'm not really just, I want, actually, I want, actually, I want to really just work for it, not really rely on my parents because they might be, I don't know. No, I just don't want you to starve, love. That's the thing. I don't want you to starve in New York. I mean, if you guys have a little bit of money and they're going to help you out and support you, then then I'm all for it. Go do it and, mm-hmm. and sell it to them. I mean, sell it to them like it's a, the, the greatest Broadway performance that you're going to ever have in your life. And, and one day when you get interviewed by the press and these reporters are asking you, you know, what are some of the trials that you've gone through now that you're the new whatever in this big musical play? You said, you know what? This is not even my greatest performance. My greatest performance is when I had to sell the idea of being theater, in theater to my parents. I had to act. I had to cry. I had to sing. I had to show all of these emotions for them just to say yes. And they'd be like, oh, wow, what a great answer. The greatest show that you've put on is not on stage. It's not on 42nd and Broadway. The, the, your greatest show was that uh, you had to sell it to your parents for them to approve. Mm-hmm. Good story. Oh. All right. Thanks. Um, that's, really, that's really helpful. That all right, Maria. Really- Rock on, baby. Good luck. I'll see you. I'll see you on Broadway. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, real quick, uh, guys and staff, are we done? I mean, I know we have calls to take, but are, is we take a commercial break. Are we still taking more calls or are we coming back from the break and we wrap it up? I want to know if I should take the calls now or after the commercial break. Sorry. This is really unprofessional. Have more breaks. Okay, let's take a break. When we come back, let's take some calls. International stuff, maybe. We can talk to Ray, who's in Dubai, perhaps. Uh, and uh, a lot of other people on Skype who have been on hold, waiting, ready to go. Phone number 478-7954. You can also Skype us. The Good Times Podcast. Season 2, brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo. Taking a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay t- 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 we'll return after this commercial break. There are text text friends. Always on call friends. Not just Facebook friends. Bring them all together with Go Only Party from Globe Prepaid. Go call, go text, go share. For only 30 pesos a day, don't just get a network of friends, go get a globe of them. Go make it happen with Go Only 30. Go lang lang go! Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought you it was made it up. Up. <laughs> you made it I up. Mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of them. these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically. <laughs> now, number two, upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay? Cabin lights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock, they might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs and, are planted. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, <clears throat> a Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. 
And there's no defense for that. It's just there's really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I, well, throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD after as that well. You, have to, you know, then after that, you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know, you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Lord. Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry. Okay, it's coming. Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped a compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Are the girls of 20? <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20? Exactly, so mm -hmm. find out every Sunday night, 8 <clears throat> 9. Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, boys, boys food, food. Okay, fine. Of course, you Of course, yeah. For sure. You can call us. We will be giving you a phone number. We want to talk to you guys, too. Yeah. Get inside Eventually, the phone number will come. But since in the meantime, we can't figure out the whole podcast thing, figure yeah. out, but we're trying to figure out boys, figure out, <laughs> figure we out. Yeah, we get half so we know what's going on. Exactly. Just okay, so anyway, our first podcast is this Sunday at 8. <coughs> yeah. Please join us because we're, we're all, all here. here. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Monday night. Phone number 478-7954, your chance, your last chance at getting your calls on the program. Also on Skype, the Good Times Podcast. I want to thank everyone who uh, downloads our our episodes on iTunes. We appreciate it very, very much. Still the number one show in the country. I, I know I heard that the uh, episode with the volleyball players, Phil and uh, Gretchen Ho, they did over 50,000 downloads over the weekend. Just that episode alone. That is Freaking crazy impressive. And uh, because of that, or sorry, 60,000 uh, downloads over the weekend. Good God. I mean, that, 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 that's, that's, if you think, how many hours are there in a weekend? It must be, people must have been downloading it, hundreds and hundreds of ep episode downloads per hour over the weekend. 60,000 downloads just this weekend. I want to thank uh, those girls for uh, swinging by. Tomorrow we have Elodia, which I know is also going to be uh, very impressive in terms of uh, download numbers. It's going to be a lot of stuff coming up uh, this week before we get to the Holy Week. Let's go to the uh, calls, though, and start with Bruno, who is in Saudi Arabia. Hi, Bruno. You're 25. What's going on, baby? Hi. So I have a friend. Bruno? We've been friends for... Hello? Yep. Yes, go ahead. So I have a yes, friend. We've been friends for four years. Since we moved here. Tapos, she's nice, friendly, pero she's kind of annoying. Um, kasi, lagi siyang tumatag every other day. And we would talk for one hour to four hours. Tapos, puro chismis lang. I'm not really chismosa. So, parang, ako, parang stop. So, yung mga 
calls niya, hindi ko na ina-answer. So, pag hindi, siya, hindi ko ina-answer, tatawag siya sa landline, tapos tatawag siya sa cellphone, tawag siya sa Viber, magbe-message pa sa Facebook, parang, why aren't you answering my calls? Ganyan, ganyan. So, parang ako, Jesus. ayokong ma-hurt yung feelings niya na hindi, iba yung, ayokong makipag-usap niya about sa ganyan. Parang, ganun. So, hindi ko alam paano sasabihin sa kanya. You, you 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 can invent um, uh, things that you have to do on a nightly basis. You know, like I, earlier on the program, I said I, get, I got involved in, say, softball. Start pretending to get involved in extracurricular activities that take up your time. Like, I'm sorry, may Monday night ballet, may Tuesday night bingo, may Wednesday night... <laughs> It's May Thursday night Pasoy. You know, I mean, you just so when she calls, leave because she's your friend. Give her one day a week. Just say, hey, listen, I'm I'm only available for this on Saturdays. Cause say, parang I'm trying to get to the gym now. May mga classes there, Pilates, whatever that I'm doing every night, 7 p.m. So at least then she knows she can't call because you have some sort of formal thing. Now you could be lying and completely just stay at home the whole time, but. At least if yeah. you say you enrolled at the gym and that you're involved in these classes, na aerobics, every night in the week, that you're only free, say, Saturday night is your day off from the gym because you want... The, the problem is kung mataba ka, tapos wala naman improvement sa weight mo. Medyo, what ang ginagawa mo? Wala kang muscles. But, you know, at least for the, for the short term, you can say that you're doing this. You're getting in, involved in some of these things. It'll then at least block off that hour or two hours where you can't talk to her. And then if you have work in the morning, you obviously can't talk her there and then after the gym when she calls you and says oh the whole week and I said gym I'm sorry what did you say hello yeah oh, well if you're both stay at home she calls you more during the daytime yeah daytime yeah well then get involved in the make the classes during the daytime just say, hey, listen, I, I do from 1 to 4 o'clock, I do uh, Bikram yoga every single day, so you can't call me. I'm sorry. You know, I can't talk. And then in the evening, it'd be too late. You're either A, too tired, or you have to do your wife duties, like say, you know, if you have to cook or whatever it may be for your husband. I don't know what, it, what the scenario is there, but then you can't do chismis at night. So at least... Maybe, you know, once a week, you'll, you'll be available for all of her chismis stories. Hindi naman araw-araw. She's your friend naman anyway. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Or in fact, why not in fact get truly involved in the gym? Go to the gym. Start doing these things. Go together with her. So at least you have make a kasama ka. And then if she wants to make cheese meals no. while you guys are uh, on the way, then. Sobrang I'm sorry, mahal what? Yung gym dito. And sobrang mahal yung gym dito. And mostly puro men. Yeah. Parang wala na masyadong women That's right. na nag-gym. Kasi separate yung men and women dito, di ba? So, yeah, that's right. You're in Saudi. I fucking forgot. Um, well, yeah, the, the, use another excuse. But you get my point. Get involved in something that's structured every day that you have to be a part of where so she can't call you and make fucking cheese the whole time. Now, does she make cheese about... I mean, what does she make cheese about? Like, if, the Your irony that we're making cheese about her, but... Every day? Every day. Parang... Um, kunare, wala na siyang sasabihin, di ba? No, naubos na yung kwento niya. Tapos sasabihin niya like this, um, ano pa bang makwento ko? Yung parang nag-iisip siya. <laughs> Laging makukwento para umaba yung usap namin. Oh, man. It, it, she's, she's that bored. Well, and her husband must suck, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, her life sucks. I, I feel bad for her. All right. Yeah, well, eh. What are you gonna do? That's the way yeah, it is. All right, just start lying to her, but don't. But be, be but again, be nice to her though. I mean, I mean, we can only assume that she hates her life there. It's like, oh fuck, man, it, where she has yeah. to spend hours and hours Every making cheese meals. Wow, what? I'm not excuse. I'm guilty, I'm. But I'll try na lang na. Yeah. Medyo nice excuse. Na hindi siya hurt. All right, baby. Good luck. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Hey, enjoy you. Saudi. Bye. If there's anything to enjoy. Uh, quick announcement before we take our next call. Um, I absolutely am head over heels in love with my iPad. In fact, I take it with me wherever I go. When I have to work on the fly, it's there. When I'm traveling and I want to watch shows and movies to help pass idle time, it's there. When I'm in bed, when I'm in the bathroom, when I'm at the beach, 
If you want to surf the net or read ebooks, it's always there. But, you know, we're going to have to cheat on our iPad soon with the iPad mini, especially since I've heard the 16 gigabyte version is only 13,990 pesos with Globe Tattoos Plan 999. I'm currently choosing which to get, though, because the 32 gigabyte is up for grabs at 18,790 pesos and the 64 gigabyte at 23,590 pesos and all with unlimited surfing. So it's pretty sweet. Now, that's just me. If you guys want to check out the other things, the Globe's uh, Tattoo Plan 999 has to offer. Go to globe.com.ph and uh, fall in love with the iPad and the iPad mini. All right, let's get to uh, other calls here. What do we got? We have three calls on hold. What else do we have on Skype? Anybody up on Skype? Let's. I'll just go ahead and take one of these calls, um, staff. I, I know we got a bunch here, but I don't see it on the screen. Uh, let's go line three. Hello? Line three. I can hear you. Thank you, Bruja. Line uh, three, please. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hi, who's this? Hi, am I on? Yes, you are. What's up? Who's this? Hi, this is me. I'm calling from Dubai. Oh, hi, Dubai. What's going on? Oh, you're calling. Wow, you're spending <laughs> money here. Thank you. Yeah, you could go to Skype. It's free, but fair here. enough. Good evening. How can we help you, love? How? Um, I saw your tweet that I can ask anything, right? Yes, love. What's up? You mean about you, personally? or Yes, anything. Anything. Oh, it could be me, really? it could be you, okay, it could be Chismis, whatever. Have I moved on from? Um, from your last heartbreak. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, of course. No, because I don't know. Because, see, my last relationship was two parts. I mean, there's the relationship part, and then there's the kind of the trauma of, you know, say, the abortion part. The relationship the, the, part, of um, course. The girl, the girl, basically. Yes, the oh, a, a, easily, oh. and it was. E I can even it was. It was. We broke up twice, and I guess the first time was a little bit more difficult. The second time was was much much easier. Um, the last mm -hmm. time I uh, saw my ex girlfriend, I was in the hospital uh, getting a checkup, and then she yeah. came over, and I just said, "Listen, I, I mean, we're not going to be together anymore." So. Um, after breaking up with her, maybe thought about it for a week, and then that's it. I mean, it was done. I was, you know, it, it was fine. Hello. Yes. My heart is pounding. Hello? So. Why? Because um, it's my first time to call a radio station, and I got in. <laughs> oh, well, great. I'm glad that you got in all the way from Dubai. All right. Any other questions? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's my lucky day. Yeah, it is. All right, baby. That's anyway, it. Anyway, that was it. All right. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Have fun in the Philippines. Bye-bye. I'm not there, but yeah, you too. Have fun in Dubai, love. Appreciate it. Thanks. Have a good okay, one. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Um, 478-7954 is our phone number. Let's take a few more, then we got to wrap it up here. Let's go to line four and uh, talk to Kay. Hi, Kay. Welcome to the show. Line four. What's up? K, K in line four. Can we have K in line four, please? Staff. I'm sorry. K. Yeah. Hi, K. I'm What's sorry. up? Is this Mom? Can you hear me? Yes, it is. Hi. What's up? Hi. Hi, Mom. Anyway, I have this Hi, huge You're problem. 23. I just found out sure. that our business is really failing, and we're doing in debt. And you know, we're not really. I wasn't really born with a silver spoon and everything, but everything has been provided for me since growing up. And, you know, knowing that today, knowing today, I just found out na baon pala kami sa utang. You know, and I don't really know how to take it from here. I thought business is going well and everything's fine. And now I just graduated and, you know, I don't know how to take it from here. You know. Um, what's the question, though? Is how do you do? How are you going to deal with this adversity? Yeah, I know. Uh oh, I mean that. Like you know, when, when you say that the family business, you learned that the family business is losing money today. I mean, how bad is it? Like you went from how much money to what to how much money? Like, I tell me the the, the you know the book. They didn't really how tell how good me exactly. Was it? I I all along I thought it was it was going well. I mean, uh. I thought we we're doing well, but now I just found that we're going bankrupt. You know, 
The number, okay, so it's nothing. I'm not really sure, but, you know, we're just basically losing it, you know? And now, I this is your families or your husband or, like, I mean, your parents or, I mean, my parents, when you say family parents, business? My parents. parents. All right. Well, mm-hmm. and you work for the family company? Uh, no, I'm, I just graduated. I just passed and... I don't know how to take it from here. I, I I was supposed I'm supposed to work for the family, but now we're losing it, going bankrupt, and how am I supposed to? You know. It's really yeah. Hard. Well, okay. I mean, do you have younger siblings that still need their tuition paid and all of these things? My my sister is abroad, but she's just a housewife there, so she can't really help. And it's just the two of us. And okay, well then that's the, then that's good. I mean, if you think about it, because most of my worry was that you just graduated, you're gonna have to get a job, which you should, but then that money is gonna have to go with paying tuition of other siblings and stuff like. We see this so often in our in our country, you know. Right. But if mm-hmm. your if the if your parents' business is going down, but all the kids' tuitions have been paid and they don't necessarily have to quote unquote take care of you anymore because you're an adult and you're graduating and all that stuff, then this problem, while yes, a, a problem isn't as bad. Um, you're going to go out there and you're not going to have things purchased for you anymore. You're just going to have to have a little bit of an adjustment in the way you live your life. But you are of age. You're 23. You can go out there, get a good job uh, with your educational background and help your family out a little bit. Are you guys going to lose the house or anything or is it just the business? Uh, right now, I'm not really sure how bi- how bad was it, but I'm pretty sure that our lifestyle will drastically change from here, you know. Mm. Yeah, okay. Well, no. when you find out, the number one thing right now is how where your parents are going to live and where you're going to live. If, you, if you're going to be able to keep the house still, even though the family business is down to shit, then it's just a little bit of a, a little bit of an adjustment in the lifestyle change. Maybe you need to lessen, you know, your cable service or whatever it may be to try to cut costs. Maybe if you have four maids, one maid, you know, I mean, we don't know where it's mm-hmm. at right now. But mm-hmm. the adjustment in the lifestyle is definitely going to be there. If you will lose the house, then you're talking about a bigger problem. You really need to find the job as soon as possible. I think that's kind of the thing you have to start working on as early as tomorrow. Go out there, get a good job, and kind of prepare for the worst, okay? Yeah, okay. I really miss listening right, okay. to you. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, babe. Have a good one. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. All, All right, right. One bye. more and we're out of here. Let's go to uh, Stephen, who's 23, Quezon City. What's up, Stephen? Hi, Mo. We're on line two. I'm sorry. Hey, Stephen. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hi. Go ahead. Hi. Hi, Mo. Well, I need advice because uh, my thesis sure. deadline is like three weeks away. And I'm kind of running out of like inspiration or motivation to finish it. That's all? Just motivation, yeah. huh? But you have know, material. Kind of you have the first... I just want to get to the graduation. For example, I know now I can't if I don't finish my thesis. So I don't know. Yeah, I no. If, if it's just motivate... Listen, dude, uh, Stephen, I've had people come up to me and say, my thesis is due next week and I haven't even started. I mean, I'm like, holy shit. I mean, if your problem is just motivation, you're going to be fine. Think right. about fucking your, your career, your college career is over in a matter of weeks. It is done. The years yeah. and years of you put in, the years of high school you put in, the years of fucking elementary you put in, it all ends in two weeks, three weeks tops. Go out there yeah. and finish that fucking paper. It's just one more thing to do. It, it mean, yeah. really, you're not physically tired. Everybody does it. It's, you're not like in some sort of marathon that life is. You can get <laughs> this done. You have a few weeks. Dude, trust me. It all ends here. This yeah, is it. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. Right, if motivation all. is your problem, take one day off. Steven, take tomorrow off from the thesis. Relax. Take tomorrow off. Don't worry about it. Play some video games. Watch a couple fucking movies. Go get, you know, go get a massage. I don't know what the fuck. But... <laughs> Get back on the horse come Wednesday and finish this, and you're done. It's over forever. Yeah, it's right. 
Thanks all. All right, buddy. Have a good one. Right. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, it is a Monday night. Let us find out who our caller of the night is when we come back from commercial break. Tomorrow on the program, we have Elodia. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I think Elodia came out like with an album or a song or something like that. We'll talk to her about it. Maybe we'll even play it on the show tomorrow night. It's Good Times World, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. See you guys in a few minutes to wrap up the program. Find out who caller of the night is. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. There are text text friends. Always on call friends. Not just Facebook friends. Bring them all together with Go Only 30 from Globe Prepaid. Go call, go text, go share. For only 30 pesos a day, don't just get a network of friends, go get a globe of them. Go make it happen with Go Only 30. Go lang lang go! Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it. Right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect <laughs> timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Well, before that, I was, I was kicking ass. So go with the theme of the show, How Not to Play. It's Robert Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m. Only here on The Factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. What you've been missing on the factory. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, John does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so John this, and I am now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos, ang puti. Ay, tapos, dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Continue. <laughs> Yan, yeah, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko, ang mayaya ba? <laughs> pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> Tito oh. Kay, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Basta ng glamour te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Purahin na, purahin na siya. <laughs> oh my God! Damn! Sorry, ma. Pagkasabihan ka! Ito talaga? Hindi, bago yan. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakapin. Buti dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakin <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday. 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry! Okay, it's coming! Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? 
Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped a compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. I'm Julia Snigowski. I'm Trisha Centenera. And we are the girls of 20. Yay! <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20. Exactly, so mm -hmm. find out every Sunday night, 8 <coughs> 9. Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, boys, boys boobs, boobs, boobs. Okay, boobs. 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 Eventually, the phone number will come. But <laughs> since in the meantime, we can't figure out the whole podcast thing, figure yeah. out, but we're trying to figure out <laughs> voice, figure out. <laughs> figure we can't figure it out, so we know what's going on. Exactly. Just okay, so right. our first podcast is this Sunday at 8. <clears throat> yeah. Please join us because we're, we're all, all here. here. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here. Time to wrap it up tonight on this Monday night, 18th of March. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. We have some prizes from Globe that we can give away to our listeners tonight. And hopefully, you'll be able to score a brand new phone. Now, it's uh, time to announce who our caller of the night is. This is the one that I guess I enjoyed most. Usually, it's a celebrity that gets to choose it. Um, uh, there were some pretty good ones. I liked the... Well, the call from Australia was wild. That was pretty wild. I liked... Um, who else was it? The person who broke up with the boyfriend because the jo no job. And they were all really good ones. But the one that I'm going to give it to is the girl who she first this is the first time that she's swallowed semen so welcome to the you know semen swallowing uh world uh society amber she's 18 years old and this is where i went out and i admitted that i have ingested semen myself so um back on the program is amber she's 18 and caller of the night hi amber hello Welcome to, uh, yes, like I said, the semen swallowing uh, society that uh, you are now part of. And you are, just because of that, your caller of the night, dear. So you, all you have to do is choose between box one, two, or three. Let's find out what you win. Which one do you want? Um, box three. Box number three. All right, let's find out if she won a brand new phone from Globe. Uh, can one of the staff members uh, please open box number three and find out what here. Uh, Amber here JM's has? JM's opening. All right, go ahead. You win. Blackberry Curve from Globe. Blackberry Curve. Congratulations, Congrats. man. That's an awesome phone. Congratulations, what? Amber. You want a brand new phone from Globe. Thank you. You're welcome. Celebrate <laughs> with your boyfriend and his yes. penis. All right. Thanks for the call, baby. We appreciate it. Congratulations. All right. Now, hold on. We're going to get your information so the staff can, uh, can give you your prize. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the program with Elodia. Um, make sure to check us out then. We want to thank Legend of India, 114B, uh, Jupiter Street, Bel Air 2, Mahati City for catering and a delivery. You can call 836-4232. See you tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for downloading the program, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye, guys. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.